We're going to switch now to arthritis. <coughs> Degenerative joint, uh, joint disease. Again, a lot of inflammation going on. I'll talk to you about uh, Grapiprint, um, Galaprint. If this uh, name you're not familiar with, don't be surprised because it's not on the market yet. Uh, it will come out, target date is probably December of this year. Okay. And it's kind of a unique, I'm about to talk to you about NSAIDs because uh, they're a major, major use, but I wanted to put this right before. Um, remember NSAIDs inhibit cyclooxygenase that inhibit the production of prostaglandins. Well, this is pointing out there are five active prostanoid metabolites of arachidonic acid. That's saying there are five prostaglandins that are produced of significance. And uh, PGE is one of them, P uh, prostaglandin E2, serves some homeostatic roles involved in normal mucus production in the stomach that's cytoprotective, involved in normal renal, maintaining renal blood flow when GFR drops, but it's also involved in regulating pain and inflammation. And they found out that prostaglandin E2 has four receptors, and the fourth one, EP4, is uh, primarily responsible for pain and inflammation. So this is just showing your phospholipids in the membrane and being worked on by phospholipase. Here's where the steroids are working. You get your arachidonic acid, okay, and these can be acted on by cyclooxygenase to give an intermediate prostaglandin that goes on to uh, these one, two, three, four, five prostaglandins. And here we see E2 binding to the EP4 receptor. Well, um, Galaprant, yes? What, what are those homeostatic functions? The two that I'm, I'm uh, most interested that you know about, one is it causes a cytoprotective uh, mucus in the stomach and intestine. By that, um, normally the, the mucus of the stomach should be fairly thick and tenacious because it's what's protecting the lining of the stomach from the stomach acid to a lesser degree in the intestine as well. So if you inhibit that with a NSAID, like I'm gonna talk about, you can get stomach ulcers. So a normal cytoprotective mucus is one role of prostaglandin E. Another one is uh, maintaining renal blood flow. Um, prostaglandin E, or the prostaglandins in general, are not necessary for normal renal blood flow. But if GFR starts to drop, say they're dehydrated or they're hypovolemic, the, the kidney produces local prostaglandins, including prostaglandin E, to cause vasodilation and improve renal blood flow. And if you block that, then you, you get ischemic injury to the kidney. Both of those are um, toxicities we see with the NSAIDs. So the point here is, is not that. Um, per se, it relates more to the NSAIDs, but you need to know what the normal role of prostaglandin E2 does. All right, now <laughs> again, um, it targets just this EP4. It's gonna be approved for pain <coughs> in DJD. It's said to be anti-inflammatory. I can't find any information specifically addressing suppression of inflammation, but it would make sense that it does. But again, it's a little bit like Apoquel and Katie in the sense that it targets at a much uh, more refined level. Because you're not wiping out cyclooxygenase, you're maintaining your PGE to work on those normal homeostatic mechanisms. So we have a much better therapeutic index, a lot fewer side effects uh, with Grapiprint than we do with our uh, regular NSAIDs. At least that's what I'm being told. Uh, we'll, we'll see when it comes out, but it looks very, very promising. The, the studies that have been published seem to be effective and well tolerated with fewer side effects. All right.